approached the hole in the wall with caution. You sniffed the air. The smell of sharp cheddar, perfectly aged, wafts its way to you from the open pantry door. Your belly rumbles. Your mouth waters. You can almost taste the crumbly, cheesy goodness. You step forward close to the hole, but wait. Was that the sound of the cat sharpening its claws on the linoleum? Your mission, should you choose to accept it, break into the pantry and steal all the cheese. This game will self-destruct in five, four, three, two. Hi, I'm Dawson Cowles, lead designer and artist for Rat Fink, Scurry and Scamper, here to give you a quick overview of our game. Rat Fink is a trick-taking, take-that action card game set in the walls and countertops of your house. Players are rats trying to amass the largest cheese hoard while avoiding taking traps, thinks, or having their cheese stolen by other rats. What sets Rat Fink apart from other trick-taking games are the fun and often treacherous back and forth action cards that can be played during the game. While you're trying to scurry for advantage and scamper away with the biggest cheese hoard, while leaving your fellow rats stuck with the biggest pile of traps. Rat Fink is for two to six players and plays in 20 to 40 minutes. Um, it uses a standard playing card deck of 52 cards, as well as a custom deck of 52 action cards. These action cards are split into two groups, the scurry cards, which allow you to manipulate the hand and the trump call prior to playing the trick phase, and then the scamper cards, which are played after the trick phase, which can alter the outcome in case maybe you had a poor hand at that time. Um, so the first phase is the scurry phase. Um, players are allowed to play a scurry card from their hand if they wish. These are cards like Nose Off, which lets them challenge the current dealer, and if they're able to become the new dealer, they can pick a new trump based on their hand. Uh, cards like the Big Flip, which can flip the trump order from high to low or low to high. Uh, good old classic Go Fish, which lets you go steal a card from another player. Um, these are just some examples of some of the scurry cards. Um, once the scurry cards have all been played, players play out the hand uh, as a series of tricks. For every trick that you take, you get a piece of cheese. Uh, if the end of, the, of that hand, if you fail to take any tricks, then you are going to be stuck with a trap, I think. Um, once players have finished the trick-taking phase, then we enter the third phase, the scamper phase, in which all players are able to play one of their scamper cards if they wish. These are cards like the Dirty Rat, which lets you steal a piece of cheese from another player. Uh, cards like Claws, which attacks everyone and lets, makes forces them to drop their cheese and run in terror from the cat. However, there are some shield cards like the Dog Whistle, which would call in the neighbor's dog and chase away the cat and then everyone's able to keep their cheese. Um, there's more attack cards like the Exterminator, which you can give one of your things away to another player. Uh, however, they could have the faulty trap card, which would make that trap break and rebound back to you. Um, there's also some special power cards like the Mission Pantry card, which could get you out of a bind. However, it does help all the other players too, so there's some choices in the game, whether you're going to help others or just yourself. Um, there's cards like the Fondue card, which takes everyone's cheese and throws it in one central melting pot and then redistributes the cheese. Or something like the Cheddar Throne, which uh, has you collect taxes of cheese from all the other rats. And believe me, you want to take the most cheese, because whoever takes the most cheese in Rat Fink becomes dealer for the next hand. And whoever the dealer is gets to pick Trump based on their hand, which can give you a definite advantage. Um, Trump in Rat Fink is both a suit and an order, so it can be high or low. If Trump is high, then it's normal card order, ace is high, takes the highest card played is going to take a trick. If it's low, then all of a sudden the lowest cards are going to be important, so your twos and threes become more important than face cards. The game begins, each player uh, has the cards dealt, uh, we play seven rounds, uh, the winner at the end of that is whoever has the fewest finks. Um, if there's a tie, then the player with the most cheese becomes the winner. So there you have it. Uh, can you scurry your way to victory? Will you fink your fellow rats and scamper off with the most cheddar? Step up to the start of the maze and enter if you dare. Thank you.